Our next question today is actually for this little guy right here. The message came from Facebook from Jeanette. I'm entering the world of traveling with a small dog. Any tips for flying and hotel stays? This is a first for me. So let's start with the airline process. The first time I flew with Miles, I was so stressed out. Uh, you know, what was it going to be like going through security? And, uh, you know, it, it was just a lot. What if he just starts peeing all over the place? So first tip is just make sure you wear your dog out before the flight. Um, I always make sure he gets lots of exercise. Um, and then depending on the length of the flight, I, I make sure not to feed him too much in advance. You know, you have to time their bathroom breaks and have them go right before a flight so that they're not getting stressed out with having to go to the bathroom. So always get lots of exercise. It's good for both me and the dog. Um, but going through security, it's really not that big of a deal. So you have to have them in a carrier. I would recommend checking in. Getting to the airport, they say two hours. I think sometimes they say to get there three hours early. That's a little bit of overkill. Get there two hours. A lot of times the agents will check to make sure they can fit in their carrier. You have to pay the $150 fee, which is on most carriers, um, to bring a dog in the cabin. Now you can check dogs, and I know some people just have, you know, if you have a huge dog, you have to check them. There's a lot of websites out there with really bad information about dogs dying in the hold of airplanes. Think about how often they lose passengers' luggage. There have been a lot of horror stories. So I personally would never uh, ship miles beneath the hole. Um, but, you know, I understand sometimes there's no choice, but I would try to avoid that as much as possible. Luckily, you have a small dog, so that's no big deal. So get to the airport early. Going through security, you'll actually have to hold your dog. And great thing is, you'll get opted out of going through the uh, nudiscope. You know, you, you will go through, you'll hold your dog, put their leash and collar through the metal detector or through the uh, x-ray belt. You hold them, go through, and uh, if you have TSA pre-check, you can go through with the dog. So Miles loves his pre-check. Uh, it makes it much easier. Um, TSA agents are actually nicer to my dog than they are to me. Uh, so there are actually perks to traveling with the dog. Once you're on the plane, I would always just make sure to have a treat just to give it to them if they do start barking or whatnot. But Miles has always been, I mean, he is my son, so he's always loved being on the plane. Nowadays, he pretty much is snoring even on takeoff. He's actually slept throughout the entire takeoff roll before. Um, as far as hotels, you know, they also, a lot of hotels will charge either a per day or a non-refundable cleaning fee. I would recommend checking out Kimpton Hotels. Uh, they are very pet friendly, will never charge the fee. But most hotels will let you, um, if, even if you pay a fee, they'll give you a, you know, a doggy bed. Now just make sure you don't leave your dog alone in the room. And if you do, by any chance, make sure the hotel knows so that the cleaning ladies don't, or cleaning crew does not enter the room. Sorry. Um, in general, it can be a little bit stressful, a little bit expensive, but if your pet is your family, like Miles is, uh, and I just live a, a travel lifestyle, um, you know, you always have to, I have not run into any situations where, you know, someone was allergic, but I would completely understand and switch seats in that scenario, so just be sensitive to other flyers if there are allergies, um, but overall, I know a lot of people who travel with their pets, just be as friendly as possible, teach your kids good manners, that goes for real life human children as well, and uh, safe travels. Any other questions, tweet me at the points guy.